Okay, hi, welcome back. We're playing XCOM 2 still. This is episode 2 of XCOM 2. And the Sky Ranger returns. Returns to the base camp. And we'll see what, uh. Ooh, everyone got promotions. Yay. So we got ourselves a specialist, a little robot jockey. Little Johnny 5. So that's kind of a Johnny 5 kind of. Um, no, no, what's that? Um, uh, battery's not included. Yes. Alright, uh, and Gravy, we got an officer rank. This is a mod uh, that I think is an official mod, or something like that, but um, gives me the ability to mark targets. So squad support. Got our heavy gunner, the grim, 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 grenadier. A little grenadier in my, in my Shirley Temple. And ooh, another of the new um, downloaded class, the Jedi, which gets a lightsaber and I guess uh, an invisible non firing gun. That lightsaber looks pretty cool. So the Jedi, I think, gets uh, only melee damage, and uh, they get force powers, psionics, and uh, do stuff. Do you see this long pulsating shaft? It reminds me of my father. You know, he was kind of an alright guy, except for the time that he left me in a Costco parking lot for two hours. Yeah, can you dig it? Mr. Science Guy, talking here to you. I run the cafeteria, or the mess hall, if you will. I also have all these cool TVs. Uh, there's just one rule in my kingdom. You don't touch my shit or I'll kill you. And anyway, I don't need to tell you that I know Kung Fu. And also, if you ever see my pet running around, check him out. Check him out. You see this? He does this all day. He can't stop. It's amazing. You know, actually, I feel like if I was rich, people would want to come down here and hang out with me. And I don't need them. I have my computer friends. You see them here? They're awesome. So, you know, he's a skeleton. He doesn't care. You know, check this out. Okay, I switched the landing protocols with porn. You see? Do you get it? What? People think I'm a little weird for being down here in the basement and all with my, my computer friends. But maybe, maybe just you and I could be buddies and we could hang out here forever. Um, no. Let's research. I think we'll go for that, so we can use weapon mods. Wrench it, wrench it, keep wrenching it. Oh man, it doesn't take this much effort to jack off a horse. Wait, 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 I think I got the spot. Uh, wait, no, that's not the spot. Uh, maybe this is the spot. Oh, that could be the spot. Let me wrench it a little bit more now. Uh, yeah, that's the spot. Oh, oh, shit, it's loose. It's on the alarm, Skynet is coming. The, the future, you can't stop it. You have to hit things to make them work. That's, that's what my dad used to say. You, you know, when he hit me, but wait a minute, you, you're, you're a stranger. Why am I telling you this? I need to stop drinking. Wait a minute, uh, you know what? I was watching TV for like a whole hour when I realized it was just the security system. And I was like looking at it for a whole hour and I thought it was the worst episode of Big Brother ever. So, you know, do you watch that show? Oh, because you know what? If you want to talk to me about Big Brother, you can't spoil anything. I don't like spoilers, and neither does Skynet. You see, if you talk to me about Big Brother, or you talk to me about Game of Thrones, and you spoil it, well, you know what? That's gonna be bad. You know why? Because for you, Mr. Wrench here, he's gonna fuck up your head. And Mr. Robot here, gonna eat your nipples. Right. And over here in engineering, I'm going to start building a guerrilla training school. Now this is very important to get uh, initially because it allows you to increase your squad size. And uh, that's incredibly important. Uh, the leftover resources, I can buy a flashbang and a med kit, and I will uh... Hello, it's Blackford here. Welcome to my tour of the ship. Sometimes people ask me, you know, Bradford, why do you turn into a jet sometimes and take off? I don't know why, but I made this map of my favorite Taco Bell locations, and you know what? It's uh, those are those are all great. You can go in any one, and I like to get my fries supreme and get my guiditos to go. Uh, I like to eat alone outside in nature. It's very natural, you know. Yeah, thanks, Bradford. Get, get it. Nice talking to you. Ooh, rookies. Yep. So uh, looks like it's time to uh, restock our. Lemmings, lemming soldiers. Uh, but um, 
actually another mod that I downloaded that's pretty cool is this uh, customization option. So you can see there's different skins and music for the uh, Sky Ranger. Now, one thing I do find is all the menu stuff in XCOM, like the clicking buttons, the sound design is very... Of interesting oh, that was so satisfying. So satisfying. Just listen to that. Like, it's, that's amazing. I don't even know. How do you make those sounds? Like, I just picture, like, a guy in a warehouse with, like, wind chimes everywhere. And he's just, like, going around throwing cookies. And then there's, like, bats. What the hell? So, yeah. Woo, Pink Power Ranger. Uh, some guy named Ruben. Alexander. And Keith Jones. Keith Jones! Avenger plotting so, head out and check these supplies. Supplies will also be critical, but I'm willing to bet that uh, before we pick these up, we'll probably have something to do. And here it is. Great ops. You gotta go uh, Operation Purple Skull. Ooh. So, ooh, uh, save David Letterman, the engineer. All right. Setting course for sector nine. Let's Western do it. United Could States. definitely use an engineer at this stage. Early in the game, getting an engineer will hopefully uh, allow me to gain supplies and other good stuff. Hmm. So, unfortunately, I don't have a specialist that I can put on this mission, and it's one of those missions where you have to uh, hack a remote device, which gets a hell of a lot easier when you can do that um, using your drone. But uh, I guess we'll have to go in manually. But it'll be a good chance to test out this Jedi class. And yeah, I guess something weird happens with the mods where all those things shift to the right, but we'll give uh, Pink Power Ranger the uh, medkit, Love Not War. And off we go! In the Bradford Ranger! Our Central was kind enough to donate his skin to dress our vessel. Kill everybody and steal the data. I got it. In we go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Loving the intro music. Now this is a time mission, uh, which Let's means I've only got a few turns. Um, and start walking. <laughs> awesome. Uh, but yeah, I've only got a few turns to uh, accomplish this, so what that tends to do is puts the pressure on you uh, to start making stupid decisions and jumping uh, way ahead. And oh my, wow. Yeah, so the Jedi has way increased movement, but uh, only melee. Plus my grenade. So we're just going to move everybody in as quickly as we possible, hopefully not triggering any enemy groups. Uh, thankfully we are concealed. Maybe we'll uh, suss one out here. Oh, there you go. Alright. Got a sectoid. Very different from the original. some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever. Yes, they are stronger. So, uh, we're going to try and keep everyone in full cover. Uh, the rule of thumb with the sectoids is that they tend to go for psionic attacks over anything. So, it's better to kill the people around them. They'll try resurrecting them, and then you can kill them on their next turn. Uh, but I'm trying to see where I can move my people in, and I guess that's a good spot if you had a freaking range to... Uh-oh. Yep, so we got another set of guys here. And yeah, we could take one out with a lightsaber, but uh, I think we're going to play it safe and hunker down. Move everyone in closer and then strike on the next turn. Two pods, though. Hmm. This is going to be tough. Keep in mind, this early on, every decision you make is really going to determine the course of the game. An engineer is at stake here. This is serious, serious stuff. On Overwatch. So, yeah. Ooh, uh oh. Alright, alright. I thought he was gonna get around that sign and see me. Hmm. So, a grenade might be a good way to start this, and. 
maybe finish it with the Jedi. We also want to make sure that we're in a position that's going to have cover from that other pod when they start. So rather than do the typical Overwatch assault, I'm going to land the grenade first and then sort of see where we're at. <laughs> okay, okay. We got the one guy. Alright, I probably should put one guy in over. <laughs> Just pokes out. Ah. Okay, here comes the second uh, sectoid and his little minion. Alright, and you should be able to get a flanking position. Yeah, I think we'll put you down here. Not a problem. Mm. Alright. Let's take him down. Pink Power Ranger Power! Eh. Uh, uh, oh. I think we're gonna go for this guy over here. At least try and position ourselves in some relative cover. Oh, wow. Wow! 14 damage! Okay, that's a lightsaber for you. The dark side is strong with this one. We'll bring you... This is full cover. But that might give you a better angle. Not really. All right, I'll go. So yeah, at this point, I think it... Ugh, these are really terrible. I should put you on Overwatch, but Drag out. at least I'll get that guaranteed damage. Remove that cover. So again, the, 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 the I'm using a mod called "Don't Waste, Stop Wasting My Time Time Waster." No, it, it's it it basically removes a bunch of gaps that are just weirdly programmed into the game. <laughs> okay, we got, we, hold on, we got a we got a panicker here. Come on, Kimberly, Pink Power Ranger, you can do it. Oh. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, that's not good. That's not good. All right. Uh, okay. Um, but yeah, so th those grenades exploding beforehand, that's not a glitch in the game. That's just a function of the mod. Oh my god. Oh my yeah, god. Th I thought that that was Oh, that's XCOM. Is it clear? Right, so bringing her Commander, in, we have, we, we have a visual. Point. We'll take him out. Yeah. Big deal. Good shot. All right, and then we'll uh, do have to remember we have a time limit, but I think we've got enough time to sort of maybe. Yeah, yeah. So I'll stun this guy with a flashbang. That'll at least prevent him from using his abilities. Hopefully, I don't know if it lowers their accuracy. But if he can't use his abilities, he might actually just try and shoot us. And oh, that might have been a mistake. Cause normally he would just resurrect a zombie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. All right. Whoa. Is he dead? Oh, no, he's okay. Wow, okay. Um that'll do. <laughs> Not complaining. Though that was a tactical error on my part. Again, I'm getting very lucky. And the Pink Power Ranger redeems herself. Killing him, picking up an Illyrium core, which is good to have. Be good for creating items. And looks like we've got our Jedi in range of this device. So you can get in here and hack that. Huh. I thought there'd be dudes in here. Might be something interesting here. Yeah. I found the pawn! Ooh, ow, 2% and 5%. This Jedi is not a hacker. There's a fax machine? How do I dial? Yeah, not even close. Ugh. Well, we got what we came for. It's the important thing. Uh-oh. So now we gotta hunt down uh, any stragglers. So we'll put you guys on Overwatch. Where could they be? 
the roof. Of course. Of course. Thankfully. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Got our heavy weapons gunner there. And uh, thankfully it triggered on their turn, so we get a chance to fight back. Hmm. So we got two enemies in range. Oh, hello. We'll have to take you out. Excellent. If he had missed there, I, I probably would have raged and quit immediately on the spot. Alright, and... I guess the best thing to do is try and flank this guy, which we can do I here. Worth it. And if this goes to as planned... Yay! We have beat that mission! Yay! Alright, and I think uh, that's where I'll uh, end episode 2. So stay tuned for episode 3. Same... Just click the next... Uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a button. You find it. You find it. Or everyone... The Earth won't make it. Transmission coming in.